Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another case for the Z Fold 5. And in front of us today, we do have the Caseology Parallax case. So I've been looking at a couple of cases for a while now for the Z Fold 5. And one thing I've been coming across the whole time, one issue, is going to be the price of the cases. So most of the cases that I usually go for are in the $20, $30 mark. However, with these foldables, the cases are just way too overpriced in my opinion. But I was able to find one, and that is the Caseology Parallax case, which does go for $24.99. So it does still have a fairly decent price for a case. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. So the packaging is the same as always, how Caseology likes to do it, the logo right here. And then we do get a nice little image of what the case looks like, the version of the case and the phone it's for, plus the matte black version. And there is also an ash gray version, which actually looks like the gray on this box right here. So let's open it up. All we have to do is pull this tab. And here is our case and there is also nothing inside of there. So let's move that to the side and open this up. All right, so here we do get a couple things that we will need, and that is if you do want to use it. Uh, we do get a nice little microfiber cloth, and then we also do get some alcohol wipes, I'm pretty sure, just to clean it up. Cleaning wipes for device case slash glass. We do get some extra strips of uh, these stickers right here so it can actually grip onto your phone better and one of the main reasons for that is because with the Z Fold 5 or any foldable device this outer display you need an extra layer of something across the case because it doesn't actually stick onto the phone properly because of how thin it is and you can't really cover up the display so let's put that to the side and actually take a look at the instructions so check and pull the on the double sided tape to actually open it up otherwise damage may occur to the device uh, it does show us how to remove it and then additional adhesive strips how to use them and where to use them we do get an installation right here so remove the adhesive strip and how to actually install it which should be fairly easy and simple so i'm actually not going to be taking off the adhesive strip right now one of the main reasons is because i'm actually going to be go through, going through a couple of cases with this device and i don't want to constantly just take off the adhesive place it on and try and take it off again because it's actually pretty hard to take off. So here's a first look at our Parallax case. This Parallax series does go for their other devices as well. So it's not only for the Z Fold 5. And it's actually one of the ones that I do really like from Caseology because of this nice little pattern that they have on this back, which is actually 3D. It does look three dimensional as well, but you also do get a texture to it, which feels very nice. And then we do get these ash ashy spots right here they do have like this volcanic feeling to them that's what they usually call it but it does feel nice to the touch on the inside we can see that it is just a hard plastic and we can see where the adhesive strips are located and also the pull tabs for that same goes for the outer display right here we do have the adhesive strips all around and you can actually place a couple more if you do need to so again, with the adhesive strips, you don't really need to use the ones on here. That's what Samsung didn't do with their own cases, their official cases. They don't have adhesives on here because this actually stays on pretty well. But for this portion, you do need it. All right, to place it on, let's go to move this installation tab to the side. It says to start off with this portion right here. And to do that, all we have to do is just open it up a little bit, which I find easier. Line up where the ports are and boom, just place it on. And as you can see, everything does line up. It doesn't stick on perfectly, so it does come off, and that's because I haven't taken the adhesive strips off, but it does fit perfectly. And then for the other side, all you have to do is just plop it on. Again, it doesn't fit perfectly because of the adhesive, but the fit and feel is very nice. So right away, I can tell you that it doesn't add too much bulk to it. Uh, you can definitely feel it, but it's not as much as you would expect from a case, especially with a phone that's actually two phones slapped on top of each other, but overall it does feel really nice in the hand. So on the back, again, we do have this nice little pattern. We do get a nice large lip to protect the camera lenses and our flashlight. So if you do manage to drop it on its back, it should be fine. And again, same goes for the front display. If you can see, we do have a fairly large lip, actually a lot larger than most cases that they make for other devices. We do get a nice little speaker grill cutout for the top firing speaker and also the bottom firing speaker with a USB-C charging port cutout and our microphone cutouts. We unfortunately do not get any hinge protection with this case. Uh, I wish they did add some hinge protection. I do believe Speak has a case like that, which I will actually go ahead and review as well. That does have the hinge protection, but uh, Samsung doesn't do it either. It does look better in my opinion without hinge protection, but it would be nice to keep this portion of the phone clean. 
So some people might want it, some people might not, but that is gonna be up to you. That's gonna be a personal preference. Again, we do get very minimal branding with this case, which is always good to know. And our buttons aren't covered up. We actually do get a nice little edge right here so we can actually access the buttons a lot easier as well. And so we don't actually have to click a case to click the buttons, which is good to know. Sometimes the buttons manufacturers don't make them as well as the actual buttons of the phone, so it does feel pretty bad, bad in the hand. All right, so that is basically about it for this Caseology Parallax case. If we do take a look on the inside, we can see that we don't have a lip as large as the outer display, and that is because this display is always covered up. So if you do manage to somehow drop it like so, you might get some damage on your display, but that is gonna be on a very rare occasion, so I don't think there should be an issue with that. Again, closing it and opening it is very nice and simple, and it still is very smooth, unless you go ahead and just take that case off like that. But again, once you do place the adhesive on, as I said a couple multiple times, it should be all good. So, closing this up, here's a final look at the parallax case, and then if we do go ahead and open it up, just to show you where the hinge is, boom, like so, it matches up perfectly, it aligns perfectly, and it functions perfectly. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will also have the link in the description for this product if you are wishing, willing to check it out. So see y'all in the next one.